Okay, I do believe that this has been modified before because it's all ripped, but you can see there there's various little plugs in there. If you are going to remove them, take a photograph, make sure you know where everything goes, and it should be one fit all anyway, but well worth taking a picture before you remove anything. Okay, so this is the door module in an SL500. Normal cause of failure for windows or controlling the mirrors. Okay, I've unplugged the door card. These plugs here are for where the door card functions for the window switches, etc. The rest of it is for the winger and the cable here and the cable there, which will go to the window motor and the door locks. Now to remove this, you need to unplug everything. Do keep an eye on where everything was positioned. To take a picture before. Once all the plugs have been removed, like that, you've got to find where it's held on by, which is just simply these two little squeeze plugs, basically. I don't know what's the best term to use here, but you just squeeze and pull. And squeeze and pull, and now it comes. There we are. And that is a door module, which generally might get wet and then or these pins will get corroded and cause electrical issues. If you need to remove, remove the, um, the wing mirror, it's quite straightforward. Unplug and it's held on by three of these little kind of Torx star plug screws. Undo them and the wing mirror will pop off and feed through the cable. Okay, so I've removed them three screws and to now just give it a little pull and off it comes. There goes the window. Easily removed. Underneath the door card you do have your door speaker. Now this is a um, Bose, I don't know what, the Bose, whatever you pronounce it, um, type of speaker. There are two types, you can't interchange. So if yours isn't a Bose system, then you cannot replace it with a standard one because the jack plugs are different. Okay, so you must swap like for like, or if you're gonna use an aftermarket, make sure you've got the correct connector plug, okay? It's held on by a number of these brass kind of Torx screws here, and there's a hidden one inside the speaker there. Remove them, unplug the connector, and the whole thing should just come away.